Simon, first of all, I'll start by congratulating you on, on winning manager of the week. That must have been a, a nice accolade for you personally. Yeah, listen, all credit goes to the players, really. They're the ones who, uh, who have gone out and performed and, and in two different types of games. You know, they've showed good spirit, real good togetherness and, and uh, an ability to pick up points when we're not really as, as fluent and as, as uh, potent as we'd like. And that was a good point for us on Tuesday, certainly backing up three good points on Saturday. It seemed to be the reaction on on social media when I announced that you'd won the award. Plenty of feel good and generosity from the fans towards you. Again, that that must be pleasing, and it's uh, slowly showing what you're trying to do in terms of bring us all back together. Yeah, listen, absolutely. Listen, anything we can do as a team, as a club, to make the fans happy is is, uh, is brilliant for us, and and to get a real connection with the fans is is really important. And I know how difficult it is at the moment with everyone uh, in the situation we are. So anything that we can do to, to bring some light and some sunshine to the people of Barnet supporters' lives is, is brilliant. And uh, the four points uh, from the two games should make them happy. And uh, we're really pleased we got them. Simon, on to tomorrow, trip to Altrincham. They're, they're struggling in, their la- in the last three games. I've seen they've lost three on the trot, but they've had a very good first season back in the National League and I'm sure you'll be expecting a, a difficult game. Yeah, absolutely. I think the two games previous to that, they won two uh, back-to-back games. So two wins in five, you know, as you say, three defeats on the bounce. Um, but we expect a difficult game tactically. You know, they've got a good brand, a good style about them. Um, and, you know, we've done some work around that, mainly on the video. Um, for freshness reasons for the squad, but we've uh, we've looked at Altrincham. We know where their strengths are, and uh, we hope to go there and give them a good contest. Yeah. Do we think we could see a, a different variety of performance? We showed at times in that older shot game that when we get ourselves on the front foot, we, we're certainly a threat. We obviously had to withstand a bit of pressure on Tuesday at Bournemouth. Would you, do you think it could be more similar to older shot? What What do you expect from us? Well, it's, Listen, I expect us to compete in every game. I expect us to be well organised. I expect us to be resilient in our defending. Every game's different and some uh, every game will pre- provide a different challenge for us. Um, so we want to be front foot. We want to be aggressive. We want to get after teams. Uh, there's times, certainly in this heavy schedule, where we, we're unable to press constantly. So we go from a good shape. We're happy to, uh, and we need to get happy when we haven't got possession of the ball, you know, I think uh, all the shot, um, Altrincham played uh, Sutton last week and probably had more possession than Sutton and, and lost 4 0. So, possession, as, as much as we know what it's about, you know, it's possession with a purpose. And we've got to be happy if we, at times, if we don't have the ball, as long as we're comfortable in our shape and we're, we can work from there. It's not all about possession, uh, turns into results. In terms of the squad, will we see any new faces back in the team tomorrow? I know a couple have been carrying some knots in recent weeks. Yeah, I mean, we've had Michael Patrisso's trained uh, for the last 10 days. So, Michael will come back into the reckoning. Um, Obviously, Courtney Baker-Richards is back from suspension. So, it's good to have Courtney back. Um, Outside of that, the other boys are still uh, a little bit away. But Anthony Words has been out on the grass today, which is good news. And, and Josh Walker's been out on the grass today, which is, uh, which is good news for us. JJ's um, improving, not quick enough for tomorrow, but um, hopefully the back end of next week, JJ will, will rejoin the group as well. So we're getting some, certainly some more forward options available um, and that can only help us from an attacking point of view. With... Sutton on Tuesday night and tomorrow's trip to Altrium, the games are really coming thick and fast. But with the form we're in at the moment, we must be sort of relishing going into these games. I can't remember saying that too many times this season. But we, as a club, we must be pretty optimistic about going into these matches now. Well, I hope so. You know, it's a game of football. You know, we, we will go and try and win uh, the next game of football. That's Altrium away uh, tomorrow. That will be Sutton away on Tuesday. Now, there'll be two different approaches to the games because every game's different and we our job's to find a way to win. 
uh, find a way to be competitive uh, and, and try and implement that into the players and into the game. And uh, the players, as say, they've got to take a lot of credit because my job's to give them a plan, uh, try and work that into training. It's their job to take that plan on board and exercise it. You know, so far, you know, they've I've done my bit uh, in terms of uh, the planning and the training and, and credit to the players. You know, they've done their bit. They've took that plan on board and, and they've executed brilliantly. Again, a lot of video stuff we've done with them, a lot of reviewing games. So showing them where they've done well and why they've done well. Showing them back to training sessions where, remember we spoke about that and then seeing that come out in games. You know, that's been really pleasing. And again, that, I think that builds confidence in, in our group, staff, players, that, that uh, we understand each other and we understand that the other one uh, holds a key to the other one's success. Just lastly, I just wanted to touch on on the team spirit shown in the games recently. I caught up with Liam after the Boreham Wood game and he was highlighting how much zip there is about in the training and, and in matches. It seems to be a good camaraderie amongst the squad at the moment. That can only sort of help to breed a bit of success. Well, you hope so. I mean, again, when we walked through the door, I think we said the boys were fragile. Confidence was at an all-time low. Um, and, you know, you have to get about rebuilding it. Now, to rebuild it, hopefully you pick results up and that's the easiest way to build confidence. Now, we've done, we've had three good performances in different ways. Um, the confidence is coming back and our job is really to keep that going. Now, you know, the challenge to the players is to turn that three into four and that four into five. Um and if we can do that, we'll keep growing in confidence. And, and if we don't do that, then we'll revisit and we'll review and, and we'll put a new plan in place to start rebuilding that confidence.